Hi guys, it's Dr. E here from Dr. E Skateboard. I've got a bunch of batteries, piece P groups done. Uh, let me go ahead and show you. I've got, I got it here. I got it shrink wrap. And all I'm going to do is make a hole uh, when I'm connecting. This way, everything's insulated. Nothing's going to short, you know. Um, so I got it there. But let's go ahead and do the next step, what I did. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab one of these. So I've got a fish paper. The reason why you do fish paper, because I'm gonna do, sorry. My, <laughs> sorry, did you guys see that? Yeah, this is what it looks like. Sorry, I didn't know the thing was in play. So I have it, I have two layers of nickel strip. I've got going across, all right? I've got another one here, all right? That connects all of them. And the reason why the fish paper is there, so when I, when I fold this, uh, there's additional protection. Right, and to do that, um, I'll make a bunch of these first. Uh, little make make them connect it first. That way, when you connect it on here, um, you can just go ahead and just connect it. And as far as uh, using your spot welder, you may um, for the positives. I find that you have to use much higher. I use a uh, forty milliseconds pulse duration. And what happened, um, that gives you very good connection. So let me, actually this one's not even. So let me go ahead and use this one. Pretty even. And you can see the pattern I did, um, I did a cross. Like I'll do it this way and this way, because there's not, not too much room. And then for this guy, I'm gonna go ahead and go cross, crisscross, diagonally. So let me go ahead and take my spot welder. And I'm gonna go ahead and crisscross now. All right. Oops, make sure you hold it when you do it. Sometimes it moves. Ah, it's okay. All right, I'm gonna go crisscross like these. And then I'm gonna go crisscross this way. Because, you know, if you wanna, if you spot weld over a spot you spot welded already, it's not gonna be obviously as strong. And when you spot weld well, you should see a small spark. It, does, it doesn't have to be a super huge spark. Um, but I like it where it's almost almost going through, but it's not going through the nickel. Okay, so th those are very good welds. Some people like to like just really burn through it, but I, I don't think you need to do it. And this is very strong weld. All right. Um, so once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and fold it. All right, I'll do that for the top and for the bottom um, I'll actually do three spot welds so the bottom finished one looks like this for the bottom so I'll do one on the outside of the nickel I'll do one on top of the nickel and I'll do one outside just like that All right those are very strong welds this one's already spot welded and once this is done all I'm gonna do is a shrink wrap it and I'm gonna go ahead and cut maybe just a little bit over, maybe like half an inch over on both sides. Roughly, you could just do roughly. I mean, you can use, I should be using like a table cutter, but I don't have one right now and I just don't have space for it. But uh, I'm gonna build, I'm gonna get a new office when I go to Korea and I'll have room to get a lot more stuff and room to work. So we'll wait for that. Um, get, get, uh, Get a good size shrink wrap. And it should just, just stick out a little bit. If it's too much, it's gonna take over too much. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get a heat gun. I'll also note the positive and the negative. So this is positive, this is negative. So I'm actually right on here so I don't forget. I'll write on both sides just in case. All right, make sure you know where positive and negative is. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use a heat gun. If you make that wee sound, it, it shrink wraps better. No, I'm just kidding. Wee, wee. Shrink wrap is so much fun. You're like a kid again. All right, get rid of any wrinkles. All right, this will just really um, hold the battery in place. And also, since I use a hot glue, 
Um, this will really keep it in place even the hot glue gets a little melted. It is like, you know, I mean, but the hot glue is supposed to be able to take, um, it only melts at, what is it? The melting point is very high and if your batteries are that hot, you know, you're, you're running your batteries too hot anyway. So this should be plenty. And you can see there's a, f a finished pea group, right? Nicely insulated. Um, uh, I got the fish tape and then I got another layer of uh, heat shrink, which keeps everything nice and um, together. Because sometimes, you know, you're, you're, maybe your welds are not good or sometimes they can come off, but this prevents it from coming off. So I like that. And next, uh, when I when I connect the P groups, I'm gonna have it like this, and I'm gonna have like a 12 gauge or two 12 gauge wires going from the positive to the negative. I'll just make a hole. Oops, here. I'll just make a hole here and spot weld it. That way, you know, it, nothing's exposed, right? This is my battery design. <laughs> my design, sort of. Um, that's pretty much it. I gotta finish up a few more batteries. Uh, let me go ahead and show you. So I got almost half done. It's just a ton of work. This has been two days of work. Three, four, five, six. So I got half of them done. I gotta put uh, more of these together. All right, shrink wrap it. Once I have that, uh, I'll put it in the battery uh, enclosure and connect all the batteries. Uh, 12S AP. Yeah, almost there, guys. <laughs> have a great day. This is Dr. E signing out.